Welcome to the Solid KM University channel. This video's topic is refinement of surfaces for multi-axis toolpaths. So what I want to show you in this video is how you can use some functions from SOLIDWORKS to help you with your fourth or fifth axis programming. Uh, for instance, looking at a part like this, we want to do one of these kind of helical slots. We want to do one of these splines here. Um, if we did this with just a standard fourth axis toolpath, the tool pointing towards the center, all the stuff you've seen with previous videos, but we're gonna use this geometry here. You can kind of see that it has a nice shape to it up until the back end where there's a taper, and it kind of trims the surface there. Uh, that could lead to an issue like this, where I might have a nice smooth tool path at the beginning. You can see these nice lines here. But when we get to the end, because of the fact that it's trying to follow those edges, uh, this is using a morph between boundary curves, um, and then it's using that curve there and that curve there to kind of morph along the surface. You see how it kind of gives us a lot of short runs there. It's kind of messed up a little bit. Um, it does the job, but there's a lot of jitteriness there. It's not clean. So what you would do with a fourth or fifth axis toolpath is you would want to use as much as possible the geometry that's there, but sometimes in this case, like this one, you want to use a nice smoother surface. You want to use a continuous looking surface. In this case, one that isn't kind of just trimmed there. Um, Often the cases where you would actually go and create some new geometry, you would go and do a swept curve, you would try and recreate the surfaces as much as you could, um, but oftentimes it's even simpler than that. Um, using surfaces inside SOLIDWORKS, you can see videos on that, or you can give us a call at the main tech line to help you with that. But with a part like this, it's actually really simple. The solid itself actually gives us what we need. So let's say we use this surface here. It's the same surface rotationally. I'm just gonna use this one as an example. We can go into the part. So I'm just gonna right click and edit part. And if we go along the top here, you can see there is a function called, in the surface tab, knit surface. Usually knit surface is to combine surfaces that you already created, merge them together. You can use them as one continuous surface. In our case, we can use it to extract the surface from the solid. So if I grab this surface right here, and I'll just say, make a surface from that, now there's a surface that's overlaid with that. It's actually called knit surface. Now, what we want to do with that though is untrim it because the solid itself trimmed it when this surface met with this surface here, the, the tapered back end of the, of the part. But if I go into untrim and then just select my surface again, you can see that it untrims it. It actually brings us back those edges that were trimmed off. These are actually the edges you want because now we've got this nice continuous spline that goes from beginning to end on both sides, and we don't have that kind of weird trim there. We have an end extension here. We have this end point that's similar to the other end. So that is a nice continuous surface. And since so, um, uh, fourth axis and five axis are driven by the geometry, by the surfaces, the cleaner the surface we have, the better off we'll be. So in this case, I have this nice continuous surface. And what that actually does, if we go back to my original toolpath, is it creates this toolpath that when we generate it, it, gives us these nice lines here. So all of these, you can see that they kind of trail off a little bit, but in this case, maybe I want those to act kind of like a lead in, lead out sort of thing. Um, but now we're following that geometry exactly. You can see that it's, uh, it's actually going off the part, and that's because it's being driven by a geometry that I previously created. As you can see there. So we're still using the solid. We're actually doing just two clicks to, uh, to, to retrieve that, uh, that surface there. But in the end, it makes a better toolpath. Any questions of this or anything else from SolidCAM, you can always give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com or watch the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.